and we're rolling. I'm just as excited as the last time. I thought I would be like more prepped for launch number two, but I'm 100% feeling the same level of excitement, nervousness, jitters. <sighs> Hi, WFM, and welcome to today's video. This is a very, very, very special one for very obvious reasons. I'm about to share with you product number two, launch number two for Wearified, my very own beauty brand. First off, if you're tuning in during the live premiere, thank you very much for taking the time out to do this. I am going to be live as well, chatting with you in the comments. So make sure you give me your real time thoughts over there. Um, I can still feel the same amount of excitement doing this right now as I did about six, seven months ago when we launched the brand. And I have to say that um, right off the bat, I'm going to make a confession and say that when I got into working on this product, I didn't expect this for this to be our second product. I thought this, I knew this was coming, obviously, because I've been working on a whole host of products and I promise that there's a lot more coming up. Um, I didn't expect for this to be product two. We had another product lined up for Jan, which has now gotten pushed to June. And this product I thought would be a little bit later. Um, I'm glad it is. It scares me that we're making such a big move right off the bat for product number two, launch number two, because this is a zone that many would consider challenging. The product that I'm about to share with you today is uh, a one of its kind. There's really nothing like it in the Indian market. I'd like to say that there's really nothing like it in the market, period, um, and especially not in the price point that we're keeping this at. Um, I want to tell you two very special things before I really go ahead and tell you what the product is. Number one is that stick around till the end of this video irrespective of whether you're watching it in the premiere or later because we are going to tell you a little bit about the launch day offer. I'm saying we because I have Jerry sitting over here behind the camera with me. He doesn't want to be on camera but he's always around me by my side um, and like supporting me and cheering me for these big moves. Um, so yes, number one is that there's going to be a launch day offer. There's something that we haven't done before. It's a little bit of a hybrid of a launch day offer as well as a pre-order. Um, I'll tell you details about that at the end of the video. And reason number two why you should stick around till the end of this video is because we're also going to be telling you about product number three. <laughs> There's something you didn't see coming. Okay, I'm really excited about telling you product number three as well, but that one's till the end of this video. Let me hold my horses a tad bit. Let me take a breath. I'm gonna drink some water. I always remind you guys to drink water with me. There's a lot of talking that I'm gonna do because you know I go into story times and you know I'm really passionate about my products and then from being, seeing the comments that I got last time and the number of things people said to me on Instagram, YouTube, offline in general, um, I really like to get into the details of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it and about the product and how I got there. So I'm gonna have a sip of water have some water with me as well, funny view. I'm gonna take a breath and we're going to dive right into this. Okay, we're going to dive right into this product. I'm going to show it to you. I obviously have it over here and uh, I have a little bit of a spoiler alert to give you. We're technically launching two products today, not just one. Yes, there is a whole other product I'm telling you about at the end of the video. So technically that would make it product number four and not three. I'm not sure. You tell me in the comments. I'm going to be reading. Uh, but today I'm going to tell you about product number two. So the product that we're sharing with you today that I'm launching here today that's going live on Wearified.in today is something that I think we're all going to love and use on the daily. I would like to remind you that I'm a dry skin girl. And I guess detail number one that I want to tell you is that it's a powder product. I'm really, really, really picky about my powder products. That's something you know about me if you've been around this channel or my Instagram for a while now. And I have really dry skin. So for me, when I was getting into this zone and when I was looking for someone to create it exactly the way I wanted, 
I was extremely clear about the fact that I needed this to work as beautifully on dry skin as it would on oily skin and of course everything in between. I don't want to say it is India's very first because you know there are so many cool brands out there that are doing some genuinely amazing things but we're definitely at the forefront of launching India's one of the first powder products that is completely talc free. I have really, really genuinely taken up the motto of trying to make each and every verified product as clean as possible. So the fact that we have a powder product that's talc free to me felt like a big fat like tick mark I could give myself. Um, I don't mean to sound like I'm tooting my own horn but it's genuinely something I'm excited about because so many people who have very sensitive skin uh, are allergic or you know kind of have reactions to talc in the product especially detail number two if it's a product that has to do with going all over your face let alone just your eye areas right all of it can be very sensitive. Uh, the other thing that I want to share with you about the product that we're launching today is that it's a powder product there's mica in a lot of powder products. Our product comes with EcoCert certification on ethically sourced mica. This is something I was very, very, very particular about, very passionate about. It is something that I feel we need to try and do our bit for, for the environment, for our society, for everyone uh, and all parties involved. And this just comes from a place of, I know it's a very small step. But to me, where I'm standing, it seems like a small step, but in the right direction. You know where I'm, you know where I'm coming from. As a small brand, we're trying to make these um, moves that hopefully will, you know, tell you more about where the ethos of our brand is at and what direction we're headed in. I think I should just go ahead and show you the product and tell you what the product is. We have our very own verified IRL Paris filter airbrush powder. I am so excited to finally be able to say this out loud because I've been using like this final baby, final sample for so long now. I don't know if you've realized over a period of time, but I've kind of reduced the number of makeup tutorials I've been uploading over the last few weeks, over the last few months, um, because I would feel bad that I can't share with you that one thing that is really making my makeup look the way it is. Having said that, I also want to say to you, so many of you compliment me on my no makeup days. I don't just use this on makeup. I've been using this on like no makeup days as well. This is an airbrush powder. I'm going to open it up and do a little bit of an unboxing, but I want to tell you about it first. This is an airbrush powder that will work to blur, smoothen, and just kind of give your face the perfect soft matte look of our dreams. I live in Bombay. I live in Mumbai, and it is a very humid and hot city pretty much the year round. And um, I'll give you a little bit of an example. I'm, I'm diving into a little bit of a story time, I know. I was at a local restaurant restaurant a few weeks ago and there was an outdoor section which is where we were at and uh, all the girls over there like we were all standing in one corner and uh, they were like listen you know we're all sweating and how come you're not sweating at all and uh, they're my really close friends and it was their office friends with them so I was like well I can tell you this is what I am using um, it is something that is going to help you keep your shine in control the oil in control if you apply this on makeup it is going to keep like your makeup looking exactly the way it is all through the day with a matte finish. I do recommend that if you're a full glam girl and you're wearing highlighter or even if you're not a full glam girl but you are wearing any kind of your dewy finish highlighter whether it's liquid or powder, apply this before you go into your highlighter because this will otherwise mattify your highlighter as well. In case you're one of those girls that doesn't wear makeup on the daily, I know I have all my non-shoot days, I'm like not wearing any makeup, but in the morning when I wear my facial oil or when I have my serum, when I put my moisturizer or my SPF, I've been reaching for the IRL Paris filter from Verified every single morning. This is a product that you can use directly on your face with or without makeup. And it's just going to be something that you'll see gives you that perfect soft matte finish. It will blur your skin out. It will, you know, kind of give your pores that finished, well-groomed look. I do think that at the end of the day, we all want to look well-groomed no matter how much makeup we have on. So, which brings me to something else. Should I do the unboxing first and then come to that? Maybe I should just like do a little bit of the unboxing and then tell you that part. Um, so I have the monocarton over here. I've clearly opened it up a little bit. 
these monocotton details have grown to become really like one of my favorites if you have had your hands on the butter to matte longwear lipstick from Verified, you must have seen the who am i little section at the back of the monocotton we had a little bit of a first person thing there that i had written for the copy of the monocotton and really quickly i'm going to read out what this says here about the product we have I'm a real life airbrush powder that will help you smoothen your pores whether used before or after your makeup. I'm made of a list of super clean ingredients such as jasmine, rice, jojoba seed oil, argan oil, green tea powder. I'm going to help you keep your makeup lasting longer, fresher with a comfortable matte finish. Please stir me in a cool dry place where vegan, alcohol free, cruelty free, fragrance free, talc free, paraben free, toxin free all of that still stands and I'm so happy and proud of the way this formula has turned out. To be very very honest, this to me feels like an accomplishment because of how clean the formula is. The fact that we have our ethically sourced mica certification from EcoCert, the fact that we're completely talc free um, and just in general the fact that this is something that I see myself using every single day. Let me say that this is something I see each of you using every single day and I have been using it every single day. So when you open it out you will see we have done a foam padding on the inside to make sure that the uh, product comes to you very very secure and this is what the product looks like. With the monocotton you'll see consistently our inverted W slash inverted heart logo that goes across both sides. We had this in the lipsticks as well and of course you see the same thing on the inside on the product itself as well. When you open it the first thing you'll notice of course apart from the product is that we have a mirror. This was really really important to me because I feel like if you're someone who gets really oily really fast or you feel like touching up on the go I don't want you to have to pull your phone out or a separate mirror out. I wanted to make this very very utilitarian and kind of inbuilt it. Um, we have a protective film of course that is going to come along with the product to make sure everything stays secure and in place and then you have the product itself. It is a translucent airbrush powder and even though it's translucent we've tested this on very deep skin tones as well as very very light skin tones. I wanted to make sure nobody felt left out from the spectrum. I'm someone who has back in the day struggled to find shades that matched me. I had to mix foundations to make them match me. There were brands where I was amongst the last few shade of foundations and that would really annoy me and that is something that has been part of my journey into making sure that wherever it stays very 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 inclusive at its core right we're here for everybody gender sexuality age um, race nationality zero bars for anything we want to welcome everyone and uh, here's a product that really truly will hopefully be used by everyone because it is something that you can use on the go and uh, that's something that I'm just so happy about Okay, so I have obviously told a few of my close friends about this product launch, a few of my blogger friends know about the launch, a few people around in my social circles know about it and one of the most commonly asked questions I got before they saw the product or realized like what I was describing for it to be is why is it called IRL Paris Filter? If you spend as much time as most of us do on Instagram, I know for me for one, when you go over and take a selfie of yourself on you know Instagram stories and do the first swipe to the left, Paris filter instantly blurs and smoothens out the way things look. The first time I wore this sample, the final one, with all the feedback, I looked at myself and I said, you know what, I feel airbrushed and I feel like I have the Paris filter on my face. <laughs> And clearly that sentiment really, really, really stuck with me because when I was thinking of names, it kind of came back, uh, you know, my memory and it got jogged around and I was like, wait, this is like an in real life Paris filter. And it is something you apply all over your face. It is something, I'm going to give you a little bit of a, like a little one or two points on how I use it very specifically. I'm someone who doesn't necessarily sweat like around the cheeks. I sweat around my nose, like here around the crevices. And I sweat around my hairline very, very easily, especially when you're like outdoors, right? So when I'm applying this product, I apply it all over my face, but I specifically apply a little bit here and go into my hairline a tad bit. It controls the sweat, controls the uh, oil, controls the shine, controls all of it. It just 
feels comfortable very importantly for me one of the other things about powder products is that if it feels like you know a little bit of a layer on your skin then it kind of like it's obviously off putting in terms of texture and feel and on top of that i personally have dry skin so for me that was a very important point i don't want you to feel like you have a layer on your skin i want you to forget that you're wearing any powder on your face and um that is definitely an, a feeling that you will you know have when you try this on another realization i had while working on the development and formulation of the IRL Paris filter airbrush powder was that whenever i would tell my friends what i'm working on like really close friends who knew because for me feedback is very 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 important i take feedback very seriously i have always listened to you guys when you've given me feedback about content or where if i do the first launch i'm sitting i'm listening i'm here to learn it's a really tiny brand we're making everything in india and that gives us the opportunity to know better of what the customer wants and do better as a brand as well right uh one of the things i realized when i was doing a lot of these like inside conversations with my friends almost like research and survey asking them about what bothers them i found a lot of similarities in and patterns in what the problem was i had people who told me I know I should be wearing SPF but I don't wear SPF because it melts and starts making me feel greasy and you know you start feeling sticky. Um I had friends who told me I love wearing makeup but the problem is it never lasts on my face. And I remember very very clearly I even knew I was talking to somebody who said um you know I almost land up wearing foundation as often as I do. because i want to lock my spf down because if i don't wear the foundation that spf starts feeling uncomfortable um and i was taking note of all of these things obviously and i realized that here's a super finely milled super 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 lightweight powder that you're going to forget you're wearing on your face pretty much that is going to solve all of these problems and that works well for sensitive skin types dry skin types oily skin types combinations and everything in between obviously it's also small enough for you to you know kind of tuck into your purse carry on the go and do your touch ups as and when you please um i realized somewhere along that also that I kept thinking am I working on a niche product is airbrush because people don't know about airbrush right it's a uh, somebody i was talking to the other day thought i was going into the space of airbrush foundations you know the ones that come with the guns i'll insert a picture over here it looks like an airbrush gun that you're using all over your face and i had to explain no 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 airbrush powders don't come like that airbrush powders can be like this i'm here to kind of simplify your routine for you um and she was very excited and she was like oh my god i'm waiting to try it which obviously makes me feel really nice um and that's kind of where i'm coming from it's not a niche and that's the thing we didn't even know that a product like this could so easily come into our lives into our daily routines um solve so many problems take away so much of the discomfort of that stickiness that greasiness that spf melting that moisturizer starting to you know become and mix and form sweat i get all those problems i really really do i'm someone who's battled those as well and that's why i guess every time i'm thinking of what product i want to launch next i'm coming from a place of i want to fill a gap i'm coming from a place of what do i struggle with and what are my friends struggling with because these are beauty conversations we all have no amongst ourselves and i read your comments i'm always reading liking hearting and responding to your comments and for me it helps me understand that this is what i'm not the only one who's struggling with this everyone is and so many others are if not everyone um i know i've said this before i probably have mentioned this on my youtube before as well but i consider myself to be at a very unique advantage um as a content creator and as someone who owns her own brand now where i get to talk to you and i when i get to talk to you and when you tell me your beauty struggles it gives me insight as to how i can go back and say let's work on a product to solve that problem i'm never going to launch a product that is just for the heck of it like if there's something like that that already exists in the industry i'm not going to put my heart and soul and hard earned money because this is a self funded brand um into developing something that is already going to have so many products to compete with i want to create a unique experience for each and every one of you as i do want to do for myself um with the lipsticks we got such fantastic feedback from you you liked the buttery application you liked that it was matte you liked that they lasted long so many of you complimented the shades of course i want to do more across all ranges verified is in Inshallah, someday they're going to have a complete collection. But it's all about doing products that actually have purpose, 
um, rather than just doing it for the heck of it. That's where I'm coming from. And as I'm saying all of these things right now, I'm realizing that I should probably go into this other product that I have sitting over here because we're not just launching one product today. Technically, we're launching two. And I'm telling you about the next one at the end of this video. <clears throat> so I've talked about um, how you should apply this and, you know, kind of like um, where you should apply this and how I've been using it. Maybe I should tell you what you should be applying it with as well. Um, we have a little plastic covering that I'm going to take off. We are going to be selling these with the plastic covering just for hygiene purposes because it's just better to keep it as secure as possible. A little ASMR for all of us. <laughs> we have and a little netting that I'm going to um, take off, which is also what it's going to come with. We have our very first, oh my god, I could cry all over again. I had such an emotional morning the other day. I'll tell you why in a minute. We have a very first verified brush. Um, oh my god, I could, like, my waterworks went completely batshit crazy the other morning with these. I think you may also spot a few of them behind me over here. I don't know how many of you noticed this before. I'll tell you why having my own brush made me as emotional as it did the other day. Um, when it came to lipsticks, which was our first launch, it was a whole new product, right? It, we opened it, like, if you see our lipsticks, they don't open, you thread them open. It was like, I had, we had thought of the entire thing from the, like, from zero to, like, hundred, right? So I was seeing a new component. I hadn't seen something like this. It was all fresh and new and uh, very frankly, like, of course, I cried when I saw those also because I'm just an emotional one like that. But where I'm coming from is when I saw the brush, I've grown up using, like, at least 500 brushes I think we've all loved brushes and I'm someone who always has a lot of brushes because I, I of course it's my job but I love brushes and I guess subconsciously I've been doing research all my life um, when I was working on this brush the main goal for me was to create something that was of course a little bit round so it's convenient to kind of take it all over your face but at the same time have this little bit that comes together at the end because I wanted to comfortably go into the crevices around your nose I wanted to comfortably go under your ear which is also where I tend to sweat sometimes a couple of really quick details I want to give you about the brushes so first things first these are like super 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 lightweight I love that they're lightweight but they're also not flimsy if you know what I mean they're lightweight but they provide the amount of steadiness and sturdiness you need to go over your face uh, and apply it very very comfortably with comfortably I absolutely have to mention that this hair has to be one of the softest 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 synthetic hairs you will ever experience on your face it is synthetic because all our products are completely vegan I do not use natural hair on my brushes um, but one of the things I've loved about this is that I've like just kind of like enjoyed using this all across the face. It is something that you will truly enjoy using because it's so soft and it's so gentle. And at the same time, of course, it is supremely effective, which is one of the most must-need things with your product. Utility first, always. These were details that were super, super, super important to me. Um, I, I actually came to the final uh, brush before I got and saw and received my final product. So I remember when I saw this. Growing up, I've obviously used so many brushes as all of us have. Um, it just kind of hit me that, oh my God, I have my own beauty brand. I'm seeing a brush with my brand. Something about it felt just so weirdly like legit and I remember I told Jerry I was like Jerry I have my own beauty brand and he was like you had your own beauty brand when you launched your lipstick six like five six months ago whenever we got this and I was like yeah but we're about to launch this and um I realized that it's probably going to hit me every time we launch something that I love as much as I do because it just feels very um grown up if I may say so myself um Coming to the point, this is Verified's first brush. You will see number 01 written on it. I want to be able to launch brushes with any products that require tools in like in the time to come, whatever the tool may be. 
Um, I feel really strongly about that simply because I want to be able to simplify beauty routines. If you're like, if you're hardcore into beauty and if you have a hundred brushes, you may not necessarily need this. I'm not necessarily going to tell you go buy, go buy, no. Uh, but at the same time, if you're someone who's aiming to use this product daily, once you wash your face, wear your SPF, moisturizer, whatever it may be, and then, you know, kind of reach for this as I do literally every single day. And if you don't have too many brushes, I got you boo. That's the idea. Where I'm coming from is that I want to be able to simplify your beauty routines in absolutely any way that I can. If you ever feel like you have a product uh, category that you haven't found your dream product in, hit me up. Hit me up in the DMs, hit me up on email and uh, I feel like I've, I'm, I've, I've, I've always been really passionate about makeup and about beauty at large, not necessarily just makeup, but that whole building a product side of me has really, really come out over the last couple of years. And I feel like the encouragement and confidence actually that you all gave me um, about building product ever since we launched the lipsticks has like kind of only fueled that further. So we have two of our launches, uh, Verified's next two babies. Our lipsticks have siblings and that's what I said on Instagram a while ago as well. Um, I hope you're going to give them as much love if not more than what you gave our lipsticks because believe me this is something that you're all going to love. Um, I have to say that from every single one of my uh, friends, girls and boys who've tried this, I haven't had a single one of them who said to me like, oh no this is not really something I see myself using. This is something that I see everyone using that wants to. Of course, everything's a choice. I strongly believe that everything's a choice. But if kind of having your skin look matte and look proper in place um, and, you know, just that little extra touch of, you know, groomedness is your thing, this is something you will love. I also want to say, and I don't mean to get myself in hot water by saying this, but if you're someone who struggles with blending your makeup or if you're someone who uh, wants your makeup, to look professionally done because you know there's that little there's that little difference between a professional hand doing makeup compared to when you know someone who's not a professional or not a hardcore beauty content creator it's normal this product will come to your savior this product to me has become a replacement for all my setting sprays it is something that i'm reaching to because it's keeping my look intact better blended than ever before that perfect soft matte finish that I love so much and I'm so picky about because I'm saying this for like the hundredth time in this video I have really dry skin I'm really picky on my powder products because of that and I would still pick this every single day of my life um that's kind of where I'm at. I'm pretty sure I'm still forgetting to mention a whole bunch of things. Um, so please stay tuned to the Verified YouTube channel as well as the Verified Instagram. They're both always linked in my info box. I plan on showing you how to use it, what to do. Um, I also just kind of want to say since it's coming to my mind, my airbrush powder is not a compact. It is not about the coverage. It's about the smooth, soft matte, blurring finish that you're going to love and enjoy. Um, I can't stress this enough. I really, really, really can't stress this enough. But unless you put it on, wear it, try it, you don't know what you're missing out on. It's one of those products. Um, I also have a little bit of a confession to make as a very small business owner over here and I'm saying this to you because as a, you know as a content creator I consider you my internet family and so I feel comfortable enough saying something like this um, with our lipsticks you never heard me say oh we've made like smaller quantities did we make smaller quantities compared to other brands yes we did of course because of course that's a whole different you know conversation but with the IRL Paris Filter Airbrush Powder, I genuinely did make really, really small quantities. I have to be very honest and tell you that. And the reason we made very small quantities is because producing, like manufacturing this product was a lot more expensive than manufacturing lipsticks. If you've ever looked up airbrush powders online, you'll see that there aren't very many in the market globally. Um, and let alone the one or two that you do find on much popular, you know, uh, multi-brand beauty websites, aggregators, go into like the thousands and thousands of range. So this is genuinely a very, very expensive product to manufacture. And because of that, I had to make the decision that this is a product that I uh, really want to do. 
but I can't afford to make as much volume as I would have personally liked. So we don't have too much stock on it. And I'm not saying this as a marketing gimmick. I'm not saying this to get you going. If you don't want it, don't purchase it. I'm being very honest with you over here. But this is something that we made relatively much, much, much lesser of um, than we did our lipsticks. And that's just because it was so expensive to create. Which I think brings me to, I should tell you the price because that's something that you might want to know. The Verified IRL Paris Filter Airbrush Powder retails for 999 rupees. And our brush over here retails independently for 349 rupees. I should also tell you the launch day slash pre-order offer right now because uh, although we're going live today on the 24th, we start shipping these orders from the 27th. So 24th to 26th is kind of like pre-order. If you do order the IRL Paris Filter Airbrush Powder within the first 48 hours from launch, you get the brush free with the product. I want to kind of put that out there and let you know that just in case you want to buy it separately, now you know their individual prices for a later point in time. Um, that's that's where we're at. Um, I really, really, really hope to get your thoughts, your feedback, and uh, I want to know how your, like, how your user experience goes once you get your hands on this baby. I have been so, 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 like, just um, overwhelmed and felt the love and the encouragement when you all were like, putting up stories and tagging me during your orders and when you received your orders and then when you tried your orders during the lipsticks I'm really hoping that this goes on to become you know something that you reach for as much if not more uh, I hope it goes on to become one of your favorite complexion products this is a whole new ball game and it's a whole new zone for us and um, is an airbrush powder something that people have tried enough of or uh, known enough about? No, not really. But I'm here to break the myth that it is not a niche product. This is actually something that you will end up using every single day. And hopefully with this price point, compared to the few other airbrush powders that exist in the markets globally, uh, you will realize that it's actually 100% worth the money. This is 12 grams, by the way. It's super, super, super finely milled. Uh, I'm repeating once again that it's made in India. It's vegan. It's cruelty-free. It's alcohol-free. It's talc-free. We have an eco -cert certification of ethically sourced mica. And in case that is a term that's new to you, I'd strongly urge you to please google it just in case i'm sure a lot of you know about it because i feel like these days we all read up and we're, we're very abreast with what's hot and what's not uh just in case the term is new to you the few of you just in case please do consider googling it um i think it's time to tell you about our next launch okay um <laughs> why am i telling you about my next launch well here's why first of all this is my thank you to you for giving me this much enthusiasm not just during the brand launch but also during launch number two you have been so supportive in uh through in your comments in the dms in replying to my stories in making guesses in everything so this is me first of all saying thank you to you secondly just in case you're about to buy this product category you might choose to hold off because this this next launch is really not that far off um and i guess thirdly because i love you and i think that should just be reason enough um our next launch with verified is going to be blushes and like i said this launch is not very far away i have always been a little bit hesitant to say timings in advance because i feel like i'm just jinxing it khud ki nazar laga rahi hu main is cheez par but if I did have to give you a timeline, I'd tell you that you wouldn't even have to wait for a month. I guess that, that's what I should say. I shouldn't put a date to it just in case things go up and down all the time. Uh, I have to tell you, I feel a little bit of relief in just kind of saying it out loud. The reason I feel this level of relief also is because when I'm vlogging, which obviously I'm doing a lot of, I'm constantly moving samples aside from everywhere. Um... Am I sampling a whole lot of products? Yes, I am. Am I wearing a bunch of samples on my face right now? Yes, I am. Uh, am I done launching things for the year? No, I'm not. Very, very honestly, when this year started, I told myself that I want to get five to six verified products out to the world, like out, out to the world. Because of, of course, I've been working on a bunch of these, even pre-launch, right? Beauty takes time to develop, work, formulate, and all that good stuff. Um, but what I also have realized is 
I don't want to do just five, six products this year if you ask me. Wishful thinking or not, I don't know. We'll find out by December 31st. But uh, I want to do a lot more. And I guess I want to thank you for that. You put me in the position to think like that, work towards that. I always say this and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I would not have been able to do a lot of what I want to do um, if it wasn't for your support. So I just kind of want to end this video on a very grateful note. I want to be able to say thank you. I want to say thank you to you. And um, I just hope that the love and support keeps coming. And I'm really, really, really grateful. Oh, I don't want to spoil my makeup. <laughs> um, on a last note, the products of the website will now be live by the time this video gets over. So make sure you go over and check out verified.in. Do not please forget about our launch day slash pre-order offer. We're running that offer of getting both of these products at the price of just one product only for the first 48 hours since launch. Uh, post which you will have these products at $9.99 and $3.49 separately. Needless to say, we're also going to throw it in there. Completely free shipping with no minimums on Verified. That's something we've been very, very clear about right from day one. Um, and yeah, I guess I've told you everything I could tell you in today's video. And hopefully you will come back and join me for another YouTube premiere launch video like this for our blushes very, very soon. Maybe... We'll tell you about the product after that at the end of that video also. I'm not sure. Just thinking aloud. I love you very, very much. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Thank you for uh, giving me all the love and support as you have. You know, I'm always reading, liking, hearting and responding to each and every one of your comments. So please keep them coming. I love you all very, very much. And I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully I'll also see you on the Verified website back end. Bye.